Hey everybody, I am Matt Torres, and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and sneakers, and welcome back to another reseller vlog. My reseller vlogs is this little thing that I like to do that takes you more in-depth of my life as a sneaker reseller. So before we start, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Alrighty, so first off, our Yeezy 350 MX Oats have arrived. I'm going to go ahead and open up all these bad boys. I've opened up one and that was the review pair for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and crack open the other ones. Alrighty, busting out the trusty butterfly knife to open up these packages. One. Ah, and there's two. Alrighty, here is our Yeezy 350 MX Oats. I got each of these pairs of sneakers for $240. I do not sell in StockX because if I did, I would not even make any profit on these. I'm going to go and put these up for sale at the lovely 39 Castle Sneaker and Style here in St. Louis. I think we're going to put them up for sale between $325 or $350. I think that's a fair price for these sneakers because I honestly think that these are one of the better looking 350s we have gotten in a while. A lot of mixed reviews on this sneaker, but I actually really do love the crazy styling on this one. Alrighty, so after I dropped off those Yeezys, I actually came back, collected some money, and I found out I made another sale. I actually helped out make the sale. I sold my Jordan 4 Shimmers. Great shoe. I should have done a review on it. You know, I don't know why I didn't. I missed out on that opportunity. Anyhow, I bought those for $240 and I sold them for $350. So $110 in profit. Not too shabby. But that's not all in this update. We got some new sneakers. If you've been keeping up with my live cops, you already know what this is. But I'm just going to go ahead and unbox them just to show you guys. Yeah, I decided to get smarter to actually use my tripod. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Anyways, I'm a dumbass. Let's just open up this box. Boom. Now we're just I already open up. Boom. All right, flip up this. Whoo! Green box and everything. Wow. That's right, guys. The Jordan Three Pine Greens are right. We hit four of these pairs. I wanted to hit a personal nine for my brother, but it got declined. Very sad about that. But thankfully, the resale is not too high. For those smaller sizes but yeah i only hit all kind of bigger sizes here because that was the most profitable let's go ahead and unbox those other sizes and there we are Ooh. Gorgeous little stack of stinkers right here. Now, bigger sizes are profitable for this shoe. You know, I expect to get 270 for each of these sneakers, and I spent about, uh, I want to say, 217 for all of them. So I would be profiting around $60 each. My next move for these sneakers now is probably to go shoot a review, obviously, and then go take it up to the lovely 39 Castles and start putting it up for sale. Alrighty, and a couple of days later guys, we got some more sneakers to unbox here. I already unboxed one of these sneakers, but if you guys have been keeping up with my live cops and my reviews, you guys will know what sneaker this is. But in case if you don't and you're new to my channel, I'll just go ahead and unbox it and show you guys what I got. Alrighty, this, um, for some reason these boxes came in really, really weird. You know, instead of having like an open on the top of it, it's actually an opening on the side. Uh, both of the sneakers came in like this. This is the first time I've ever seen something like that. Maybe it's for uh, better quality handling for boxes. In that case, good for um, uh, FedEx and all of them because they all should be getting a lot of trouble for that. Anyhow, I'm going to slice this open. This tape is pretty rough too. I think I, oops, did I slice into the box. I hope I didn't. Ah, oh, God. Nah, I think I'm fine. Ah. Go ahead and just slide it out. Go 
right here, open that up, remove the wrapping paper, and it is the Jordan 12 Royalties. You know, if I were to try to sell this on StockX, I'd probably make little to no money. But here, where I'm from, St. Louis, Jordan 12s actually do really, really well. So that's why I got multiple pairs of these. By multiple, I only mean two. Because I'm actually starting to run out of capital for sneakers. So I only caught two pairs of these sneakers right here. And uh, retail, these things retail for $190 for at the tax and all that. I think I paid like $1. Oh, four for them, and now I'm gonna go ahead and sell them from yeah you know, 250 to 270. I think I'm gonna sell them for 270. Which sounds a little high, but like I said, in St. Louis, um, these sneakers actually do pretty well. So yeah, now I'm gonna take them up to 39 Castles, and uh, hopefully we can sell them within the week. And also, I'm gonna check up if I sold any sneakers, and then I think that's probably where I'm gonna leave off the vlog. So let's see if I sold anything. Alrighty, so I dropped off the Jordan 12s and a couple days later I've actually sold one of them and I also sold a Jordan 1 mid. So I made some money off the Jordan 12s, so I think I bought them for, uh, once again, like 214 and I sold them for 270 so I made uh, just about $66, was that the right math on that? Yeah, around $66. On that, and then uh, the Jordan One Mid, I bought for 124, and I sold for 190. So I made about 66 dollars, and that one too. Wow, it took me a while to do the math. Sorry about that, but yeah. So I made some money on those shoes and stuff. But uh, I should, I wish I would just make it a little bit more, you know, do more sales, but it is what it is right now. The sneaker uh, selling is pretty slow right now, but I think it's going to kick up because it's Christmas time. So, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Can't really expect too much. It is a grind and it is uh, a game of patience. You know, you really got to be patient for what you're selling your sneakers for. And if you're not patient, you can lose a lot of money. So I'm waiting, I'm being patient. So Hopefully God will bless me something this Christmas with a lot of sneaker sales.